Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing Krabby's Stout. So, what this is, oh yeah, bloody shoulder. Um, it's basically Sadler's Mud City Stout blended with Krabby's um, Ginger Beer. To met uh, a rather interesting ginger beer. Uh, 4.2% so obviously there's a bit more crabbies than there is um, stout because the stout's a bit stronger than 4.2 so obviously near black pour can't see any carbonation or lacing uh, and I think you're going to struggle in this t in this light. Uh, Whitehead, aroma of malts, and obviously ginger beer. Now this was on uh, Tesco's Top Valley, so it's not too far away from me. Um, Ninety-two pence. They were on a reduced clear, so I'm not sure if. All the supermarkets are following suit. Um, I know these days that um, supermarkets are keeping a core range of beers. Uh, a lot of them, you know, the old beers like Spitfire, them sort of things. And then they'll flip the range of new beers every year or every six months. And, you know offload a load you know some that sell really well they may keep um obviously the likes of titanic porter and saint at the likes of, at morrison's the likes of titanic porter and saint peter's plum porter have both stayed uh, but they have got rid of a, a few varieties so it do, you know it does happen and uh it's just just the thing these days because obviously there's only so much shelf space uh, in any store and uh, so they are going to chop and change but yeah lovely looking beer strange one because obviously the ginger beer crabby's ginger beer does to me to be stronger uh about the beer, the scent is a surprising blend of iconic Krabby's Ginger Beer and Mud City Stout from Sadler's Ales. The unique mix boasts rich roasted nutty notes, try saying that five times, from the dark malts highlighted with fresh ginger for a rich spicy finish. I'll do a couple of um, reviews. Uh, one's 2.5 out of 5. Pours mid to dark brown with a short lasting off white head. Aroma of stem ginger, chocolate and malt. Peculiar tasting. Artificial sweetness. Moderate and slightly unpleasant bitterness. Medium body, oily texture, average carbonation. Sweet ginger biscuit finish. Aroma is quite nice. Another one, 3 out of 5. Black with next to no head. There's some stout character available including an excellent smoothness to the brew. But it's in the ginger that dominates taste and, and provides a spiciness that lingers. Now, for me, I don't know, obviously. I'm not privy to how much is blended of each one. I presume, being as it's... Mud City starts about 6%. Krabby's is... 4%. Standard side of... And uh, ginger beer off, you know... So I presume it's you're just getting a dab chucked in, just because that's it raise it up a bit. So it's not a full on half and half. Well, it'd be nice to get a bottle of crabbies, bottle of Mud City Stout, chuck them together, whisk it up, and see how good that is. You imagine something like King Goblin uh, mixed with ginger beer. Now that would be something iconic. And the damn sight stronger too. I've got my own ginger beer down here. And I've got Easter Brew Stout. I may do 
do some uh, I'll be careful else obviously I don't want to make it chocolate ginger beer will it work maybe not mm. I'll have to wait until I've done a proper stout mix and then um, blend two together just to see So I absolutely love ginger beers. Ever since i uh, seen the first time i seen a alcoholic ginger beer uh, when I first started working at Sainsbury's. Um, some great ones on the market. The best ginger beer sadly isn't made anymore and it's Crabby's Black and uh, it's a 6% reserve ginger beer. Um, oak matured and it was the best. The best one now is uh, Old Tom with Ginger from Robinson's Brewery. Although um, another good one, Badger and their Blamford Flyer. That's a, that's a nice one. That's like, you know, more of a dark uh, beer with a ginger taste. Same with Old Tom with Ginger. It's more dark with a ginger rather than just full on ginger. If you're looking for pure ginger beers, Stones, they've got their ginger beer. Um, obviously the supermarkets do their own. Uh, Sainsbury's do do taste the difference ginger beer but whether they still stock it because the shop in Arnold don't stock it anymore but it didn't on the last time I went in. Um, Fentiman's do an alcoholic ginger beer. It's nice, it's not bad. Uh, one of the best ginger beers that used to be around for, for lovers of ginger beer was uh, Tesco's Simply Ginger Beer and obviously that Simply range went and uh, as has all there. Uh, simply and basics and all that's all gone it's all rebranded into different names you know it ought to fool people into thinking you're getting something slightly better than what you are you know but we all know that you know um, the quality isn't as good you know as the proper brands um, whereas you know you get somewhere like a little and Aldi and you try their stuff that's not you know full-on brands and they are pretty spot on really so just going to show you So for me, what this is, is a, is, a, is a nice enough tasting ginger beer with a dob of starting. And uh, you do get, you can taste the stout. It's just, for me, not enough. I would have preferred to see it. Uh, like I say, two bottles mixed together, you know, actually mix the brews together or even ramp up the old stout and make a proper strong version of Krabby's with this stout in. Because I think that would make a perfect winter beer, even, a, even in a 750ml bottle, you know, um, it's a good idea, a Christmas themed um, Krabby's ginger beer. With like a Christmassy flavour, uh, another collaboration would be good. Um, Saddlers, they've got their Peaky Blinder Christmas Pudding Ale, and uh, I think it was Peaky Blinder, but it was definitely Christmas Pudding Ale. And that with this ginger beer mixed together and keep the strength up, and you would have something of a very, very interesting Christmas themed ginger beer. I should work in the industry, shouldn't I? So many ideas for beers and that, and ways to promote, you know, and ways to get good offers going and bring people in, you know. Uh, for me, if I was gonna, if I had the money I, and had my own shop, I would definitely think about having, you know, beers at just over a quid. You know, there's a sweet zone with beers and uh, obviously if you're if you're selling beers similar price to what the supermarkets do you're in that sweet zone and uh, obviously if, especially if you can do deals with breweries uh, with stock that's going out of date or whatever uh, to sell it there you know and uh, for them to get sales for you to get sales them to get the name out there you know there's some deals that can be done and uh, you get a couple of shops, you own a shop doing that, a big enough shop where people can come in and buy quite a bit, you know, um, and then be able to order it in, because that's what we ain't got. 
um, it's all right ordering it in yourself, but you imagine being able to go to a shop like that. I mean, I know they do it online anyway, but but the prices online just aren't cheap enough for me. I mean, I, I'd love to have a brewery a, a somewhere where you go where you just buy an out-of-date beer. It wouldn't bother me in the slightest, you know. And especially if you're getting it cheap enough. I mean, just recently, every trip I've made to both Home Bargains and B&M, I've not seen anything new. So, next time I go, I'll have to start looking at the uh, the wines, uh, the mini wines, and start picking up some miniature wines and uh, instead of doing beers, because if I can't get the beers, I'll have to get the wines. And, uh, you know, go that way for a bit until, you know, new stock arrives. So... Yeah, this is a nice, it's a nice tasting uh, stout. Um, it's definitely aimed at more the ginger beer fan than, than the stout fan. Um, that said, you know, it's nice. It's a very nice alternative to Krabby's, you know. But I just do have a bit of added strength bit more of the start coming through over the um, ginger beer. I'm going to make, I'll do some reviews where I mix ginger beer and chocolate stout and ginger beer and other things that I've got, um, as long as it's not cider, because that would be rancid. And just to, as an experimental review thing, just to see where, you know, if you can go down that route. So, to break it down, um, near black, poor, couldn't say any carbon, carbonation or lacing, but it retained the head, so yeah. A white head on it, quite a good head as well. Aroma, ginger, malt. Uh, on the taste, very ginger um, dominated, uh, you know. Uh, there was malt there, there was nuttiness there, but ginger, you know, it was certainly more, it's certainly more to please the ginger beer fan than it is to, to please the stout fan. Um, very interesting concept. I do hope they make stronger versions. And if anybody from Krabby's watches this, Christmas pudding ginger beer. Do another collaboration with Sadler's. Ramp up the um, alcohol content. Put it in a 750ml bottle next Christmas. Think about it now. You know, you've got five, six, six months won't be hard to, you know, get the thinking caps on and get that brewed. Wouldn't that be something? Definitely an interesting collaboration idea. Um, so out of five, yeah, I still, I mean, I'm a massive ginger beer fan. So this is Dan, you know, Raggy Avenue, as it were. <laughs> um, love the idea, love the taste. Just needed more alcohol content and a bit more of the stout coming through for me. Out of five. Because it's something that I absolutely love, it's going to get a good score for me. It may not get a good score for other people, but are we all not very different? You know, as a ginger beer fan, ooh, for me, 4.4 .4 out of five. Very nice, very nice indeed. Would have scored higher with a stronger alcohol content and certainly more stout rather than you know the balance it needed to change just a bit for me but anyway great great beer nonetheless thanks for watching see you soon